What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I am going to be making... I'm going to be making a map changer system with a timer at the top of the screen. And yeah, let's get into it guys. So, um, what we're going to do first, I'm just going to make a, a three maps. Three maps is, I think is an adequate for what we're doing. Of course, you can have as many maps as you want, but three for now. I'm not even going to make the map, design the maps, it's just going to be a part that we can spawn on, pretty much. But yeah, I'm expecting your maps to be more uh, nicer than this, um, more complex, of course. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna duplicate three of these parts. No, I'm gonna make this base plate so we don't get confused. Okay, all right. I'm gonna move this over here. I'm gonna move this over here. We're gonna have three maps. That's pretty much it. I'm just gonna color them so it looks better. I'll make this one red. I'll make this one blue. And I'll make this one green. Or you can put in any... Um, yeah. Just so I know which one is which. So yeah, there we go. Those are our three maps. And there's, it's not really much. Um, I'm just gonna name... Yeah, so that's pretty much all there is. Except now, we're gonna wanna add some spawns. So when we teleport to players, it will spawn them to the map. I'm gonna make a spawn. I'm just I'm gonna insert a part. I'm gonna size it up in the properties window here. I'm gonna make it four by one by four. I'm gonna give it like a zero point uh, point zero five. So it's pretty it's scaled nicely like that. Um, and I'm gonna make a can collide false. I'm gonna anchor it. I'm gonna to duplicate these everywhere around the map. That's what you should do to do it to your map, add spawns, put them around your map. And definitely, if you if you have like, just say you have 10 players in your game, you're gonna wanna ha have as many spawns as there are players. So, so each player has a spawn to spawn on. And I, I would suggest add one more spawn just in case, but yeah, definitely wanna get, add the number of spawns you want your players to have in your game. So yeah, those are the spawns, guys. I'm just gonna, Duplicate all of them. I'm not. I'm gonna actually uh, group them. So it's it's one big group. The spawns fit. So I'm gonna yeah. So I made that model. It makes sense. So now we know what is what. So I'm gonna name it spawn. A uh, spawn is not spawn. I'm gonna name all the parts inside of the model. I'm gonna name them spawn. There we go. Now I'm gonna drop this folder. Actually, I'm going to duplicate these. I'm just going to move it over to the other map. So yeah, put your spawns in every map. Uh, Alright, now that we're in all the maps, I am going to actually make them transparent so we cannot see them. They're great. There we go. Great. Alright, so now I'm just going to group each map so it's one big entity. Alright. I'm gonna group this one. I'm gonna first drag the spawns that that are in it into that model. I'm gonna name this model uh, Red Map. And of course, your your name should be different if you're doing actually using a map. All right, so same thing. We're gonna do the same thing for these two. I'm gonna um uh, I'm gonna group this. I'm gonna name it Blue Map. I am going to drag the spawns and that are in, that are on the map into the main fold model folder into the map. Now, lastly, we'll do one more. Group the green map. I'm going to drag the uh, the spawns. Hold on. We drag the spawns into it. I'm going to name it green map, and we're done. I'm done with the map making. You can have as many maps as you want, but three is pretty good. So, now what I'm going to do, guys, since we got that, oops, one more thing, I think I forgot to do this. I forgot to anchor these parts, because if I don't anchor it, they'll fall. So, and they won't spawn correctly. So, yeah, I'm just going to select all of them, I'm going to anchor them, now we don't have to worry about it. Okay, fantastic. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go to Replicate the Storage in the Explorer, we're going to insert a folder, and I'm going to name this Maps. So that will just hold all the maps that we need, and I'm going to add a folder into the workspace. 
I'm going to name this current maps. So that is going to house the current map that's in the game. Alright. Hold on a minute. Oh yeah. Um, yes. Okay, so. Now, um, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag all the three maps, or as many maps, put any map that you want in your, in, in your game into the map folder. Okay, and now, we're going to work on that timer, or that uh, the text label that's going to be at the front. At the screen, I'm going to enter screen GUI, I'm going to name it, um, I'm going to name it game, game clock, I don't know, you can name anything, I'll just name it, you know, I'll just name it timer. Why not? When I'm going to insert a text label into it. I'm going to move it with my mouse. I'm going to make it big. There we go. You can have as big as you want. I'm going to scale the text. I'm not going to get into the customization. That does not matter. You can customize it if you want. I'm just going to give it a no background. Background transparency 1. I'm going to name the text label one. TL. It just stands for text label. That's all. All right. Now, I'm going to insert into replicated storage. I'm going to enter a string value. This is gonna, I'm just gonna call it status value. Just, just, this is just gonna hold the text that's gonna be on here. So, now we're gonna enter a local script into the text table right here. And it's gonna be quick, this is gonna be quick, so let's do it. Local status equals game, now replicated storage, wait for child status. I'm going to say script.parent.change connect colon connect function. All right, now we're going to say um, script.parent.text equals status.value. Right, I'm going to play the game. I'm going to show you what's going to happen. I'm going to go to replicate stories. I'm going to go to status value. I'm going to insert any kind of text. Hey. Uh, not showing up. Oh, you know what? Let me say. You know why? It's because I have to say status that change. That's why. Now let's see. I messed up. There. And now that should be it. It should work. I'm going to go to replicate stories. I'm going to type in something. I'm going to say hi. And there we go. At the top of the screen, it says hi. That's what, just imagine it saying this, intermission, 10 seconds. That's kind of what we're going after here. So yeah. So now we're going to insert the main script that will handle all this map changing business. We're going to insert that into server script service. You can name the script whatever you want. I'm just going to name it map change script. You can name it anything you want. Does not matter. Now, what we're going to do. First, we're going to need some variables. So local current maps equals game that workspace dot current maps. Well, not current camera, current maps, right? Here. Now I'm going to say local maps equals game that rep or game dot replicated storage wait for child maps. Local status. You know what? I'm going to go over to the other script. I'm just going to copy this line, save time. Boom. Now, I think that's all the variable. No, it's not actually. What we're going to need to use is uh, a man. Uh, man um, not act on here. When it says local map game, that replicates right away for child maps. Just add a colon, get children. You'll see why later. It just gets all the children. I'm going to say local random map equals maps. It's two square brackets. Map.random. One half. Um, comma hashtag maps. I'll just get a random map. I'm gonna say local spawns. It was random map dot spawns. Um spawns local random spawn equals spawns colon um two square brackets map dot random one comma hashtag spawns. All right, now, oh, also, yes, uh, 
Make sure to after the spawn, random map that spawns, make sure to get to get children after that. Alright, now I'm gonna make a wild loop. Final, true do. Wait. This will just run info infinitely. Anything that's in there will run infinitely. Alright, now we're gonna say uh, four i equals. Um, what it, just put the time you want here. I'm just gonna say uh, ten seconds for now. This 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 starting number is what the timer is gonna start at, and the second in, uh, digit you'll enter is the end the end point. So what I want it to start at ten. I want it to go to zero. And we're gonna say negative one do. So negative one is just the increment rate. We're going down by one. I just had another weight down here. I'm gonna say weight one right there, and you'll see why. I'm gonna say status dot value equals intermission colon dot dot i, and then you can say dot dot seconds. So watch what's gonna happen. I'm going to put a game, and look what we got here on the top of the screen. It says intermission in 7, 6, 5 and counting. So it's counting down. So that's the intermission right there. All right. And now, we're not done yet, guys. We haven't even cloned the maps yet. So we got to do that. Um, I'm going to drop a line under these ends. The end. I'm going to say... Uh, let's see. What am I going to do? Okay. I'm going to say a random map clone. Oh, you know what? I'm going to say, I'm going to type in variable. So local, uh, local new map equals random map clone. New map dot parent equals current maps. Now I'm going to say the four, um, J equals, um, so right here you're going to want to put the, the length of your game time. So I'm just going to say 10 seconds as well. Well, I'll do 5. No, actually, I'll do 10. So there you go, that's the game. I'm just going to add another weight down here. This will gotta be wait one because we're gonna wait a second so it will loop again. Um, status dot value equals game time whatever. Put whatever you want here. Um, and and then I'll just say j dot dot. I'm gonna say uh yeah. I'm gonna say game. Game ends in uh, <laughs> seconds. So yeah, let me show you what that does. All right, I'm just checking something. All right, watch this. All right, so yes, it cloned the random map. And I, I haven't destroyed it yet, but let's see, game ends in three seconds. Right now, I, it's not going to remove itself because I have not done that yet. Let's just see if it inserts another random map into the... The, be, the more maps, the better. Alright, and... Um, I think it inserted the same exact map. I'm going to delete these. Um, five, four, three, two, one, just wait for this to end, come on. There we go, I entered the blue one again. I think the more map, you should have more maps, but I don't know why I kept doing that. Inserting the same map. Oh, hold on. Oh, it's because I didn't give it a bit, uh, oh wait. You know what, don't say this right here. I'm just gonna put this under here. I'm gonna say new map. You know what, I'm gonna type this code right under here. New map dot parent equals 
client maps. Now we're going to do teleporting. So we're going to loop through the players for IV and pairs, game.players, dot phone and get players do. I'm just going to name this V player. Alright, so now we're going to say local HRP, which is just standing for human on group part equals player dot character find first child. Human wide root part. Now I'm going to say HRP dot C frame equals um, new map dot C frame plus vector three dot new zero two zero. All right, now let's see if this no, I'm going to actually insert all the maps back into the game. I'm gonna move them over, like I'm gonna move this over here so it's not so close to where I'm spawning. Alright, alright, I'm gonna put them back. Oh, not there, here. So that should, um, spawn the player to the map. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna do one more thing so that will, it will remove the map. I'm gonna say new map destroy. Let's see if this works, guys. All right, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh shit, it didn't clone. So, <laughs> what the hell? Okay, um, yeah, there's something wrong. We gotta fix it. Let's see. Maybe I don't need, you know, I don't, I'm not going to remove this. I'm going to say random map clone, random map dot parent equals current maps. All right, let's try that. Say current uh, random map. Oh, that's not going to work. I need it. Yeah, and then just say uh, dot primary part. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to set the primary part. Just. All right, I'm gonna go to map. I'm gonna and do this for each map. Just go to primary part in the model. I'm gonna give it the spawn or the part. Do that for each map. All right, there we go. So now it says random map to primary part. Dot spawn. Hold on, I'm just proofreading this. It's gonna be a long video. Uh, I'll post the link a little bit to code in the comments. Um Alright. Um let's see let's try this. Um I gotta say random map destroy. Alright, let's try. I'm gonna change the weight. On the intermission to five and five. Okay, so I'll be shorter. We don't have to wait as long. All right, so here we are. Five for one second. Now let's see. It's not cloning. That's very bizarre. I wonder why it's not cloning. You know what? I'm gonna say five for child, or wait for child. Actually, I'm gonna say wait for child. Current maps. It's bizarre. Um. Hmm. So intermission. Um. Oh, maybe I gotta put this over here above this. I'm gonna try putting it here, let's see. I don't know. 
I'm just gonna do this in one line. I'm just gonna say dot parent equals current max. Alright, let's see if that works. I hope it should. I hope it will. I feel like it should work. And the map is over there. It didn't spawn. It did not teleport us. Now let's see what happens. Oh, now it teleports us. Okay, that's weird. Let's see. weird. It's because why did it sell this too early? Uh, let me move this down here. I'm going to put it right in there. All right, I really want this to work. <clears throat> I need this to work. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> All right, um... Damn, why won't this work? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, random clone. I think, do I have to put it back here? Did I do this already? Alright, um. Alright, I'm gonna try that. Oh, you know, why don't you try adding a weight? Just give it a chance. Just give it one second. I'm just curious what will happen. Alright, that's still not working. Alright, how about I put this up? Um, did that before, though. Let me try putting in the workspace. I'm just gonna try this. Uh, I don't like the bugging. The bugging is annoying. Alright, this is really not working out. What the hell? This is weird. No, I'm going to put a weight right here. Alright, um... I'm going to put it here too, just make sure, let's see, I'm going to try to test. Uh. Alright, it's right there. Oh, you know what? I think I'm... Yeah, let me put this whole... All this right above here. Let's see. Alright, there we go, guys. It works. Let's just see if it destroys, and we're done. And there we go. It's done. Four seconds after, and it should keep going infinitely. Yeah, there's only an error because he couldn't find my character because I was dead. So let me just give us ten seconds. It's a ten-second intermission.
So, I, I appreciate you guys hanging in there. I had to debug the code. It's working now. Um, I'll definitely post all the scripts, the whole, all the scripts, everything in the description down below. There we go. Um, game ends in four seconds. Three, two, one. And I'm sorry for the long video, guys. I always try to make it as short as possible, but I don't expect any of you to watch to, to this point, but I appreciate you guys all watching. Uh, and there's an error on the camera. That's kind of weird. Oh, you know what? Let me, um, let me set it back to the current maps folder. I wanted to go into the current maps. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in the current maps folder. All right, so it's in the current map. I wanna, so then I will, it should destroy it. And then I'll give it eight seconds and we'll see if this works without error. Hopefully it will. One, zero. Oh my God, what the hell? Um, oh, I think it's because we random have that parent. Oh, you know, I know why it's not working. We got which guys, let's put all, let's put the random map. Into and the spawns uh, right here. I know why that's not working. It's because it's in a while loop. It's not working. All right, I'm gonna put. Hold on now. I think I know why this is not working. I'm gonna put the spawns. Um, spawns go right here in the for loop, and then I put the this. All right, right there. Oh, I don't know why I respawned it on the primary part. Let me just... Let me... I, I should have done it on the spawns, because that's the point of having spawns. So we'll just... Random... Random... Spawn... Hold on. Random spawn dot C frame. Alright, let's give that a go. Hopefully this all works now, guys. Four, three, two, one. Okay. All right, let's see. If this works, then we're done. It's been like a 30 minute video. All right, there we go, guys. It works. Look at that. So there you go, guys. There you have it. It works. It's a, a super duper long video. If you have watched the whole thing, you're crazy. You're a crazy person. Because it took 30 minutes out of your time. But I will post all this in the description below. Um, it's not working now. Okay. Red map is locked.
Oh, what happened to the other maps? Oh, I think it's because I destroyed it. That's why you gotta make a new one. New map. Because we destroyed it. Alright, I'm hoping that works. It's, it's because it was destroying the maps that were in replicated storage, so that's why we need to have that local new map variable. It should work. I'm gonna try this three times, and if it works, then we're done, guys. Oops, yep, I spawned on the base point. Okay, it's okay. It just, yeah, it's because it was on the base point. Alright. One more time, and if this works, we're good. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go, guys. There you go. There you have it. It, it chose Dream Map every time for some reason, but it looks like it's working. I'm going to just kill myself real quick. I want to see something. Hurry up, hurry up, spawn. There we go. Now it's the blue map. There you go, guys. So, yes, there you go. That's how to make a map changer in Roblox using an intermission and game time. Awesome. Awesome. One. Zero. There you go. There you go. And it's just going to keep going on for infinitely. And that should work. If you guys have any problems with your script or anything at all, please tell me in the comments below. I'll try to help you. Um, there you go, guys. That's all there is to it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will leave the model to this in the description below. And so you can use so you can just go ahead and use it. Um, yeah. This video has gone, gone pretty long. So, 32 minutes. Um, yeah. Yeah, it should work. Okay. And also, guys, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.